What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about the five sets for success. Back to basics. In today's video, we are talking about the zone beater, the play that we like to use to beat zone, the formation, uh, and what you want to look for in a formation that you would like to use to beat zone uh, is something that is a trips, whether it be a bunch, whether it be just a tray open, a trips tight in, something like that. And from the Minnesota playbook, I really like the uh, the trips tight end. And I believe yesterday's, a quick recap of yesterday's video, we talked all about the, the three-headed rushing attack, uh, offense and defense, how to stop the run and how to run. And uh, today's video is all about how can you beat zone. And uh, a typical tell that your opponent's in zone is you'll see most players will base a line. So when I see this, uh, I like to take my player here, Marvin Jones, motion to the right and get my trip set to the right. So I'll motion him over and then I will audible into my gun, uh, trips tight in. And so it's a seamless transition. And uh, what I like to do as far as hot routes is I will take my running back, I'll block him, and then I'll move him over to the right side, put him on a streak. Um, another thing that you might consider doing is um, putting out a smoke screen or a little hitch route. And so that's what I like to put uh, uh, Hawkins on an in route, and then I'll put AJ Green on a smoke screen. And now you're set up to beat every single zone in the game. So our first example that we have here uh, is the cover four. And for the cover four, we like to take the underneath pattern uh, either to AJ Green or the uh, Hawkins in route. Both of those are successful uh, against that. And then here I want to show you another trips formation. Uh, gun Y trips week basically the same kind of thought process here uh, again We're gonna motion Bernard over we're gonna put him on that streak. We're gonna put Jones on that little uh, Smoke screen and now we're gonna show you this against like a cover three. It's the same concept It's just from a different formation and against the cover three What we really like to hit is those streaks to the running back out of the backfield. Uh, we also really like those deep um, Those deep corner routes especially uh, to like a tight end uh, or something like that as you see here the smash concept uh, Already has a setup and so we'll probably swing the back out of the backfield here But uh, let's show you what we like to do against cover three uh, as you see the seams is where we want to attack cover three in uh, Because those yellow zones in a cover three typically will play those underneath uh, Those underneath little in routes a little bit better than like a cover four or a cover two against a cover two uh, we like to again we like to do the same setup and then let me get my hot routes in here but against a cover two sink we typically like to hit you can hit this corner route uh, as you see here this corner route is pretty effective against cover two sink especially if they don't use the yy cushion coverage technique uh, that is very popular amongst gamers today but another thing that we really like to do against the cover two sink is hit that underneath in route to avell hawkins and that's Again, why we have that streak route to the back so that we can hit this underneath in route. All right, and then lastly, uh, we're going to take a look at how to beat the cover two defense F, and all of this from the same play, from the same set. And as you see with the zone, typically your opponent will base align their zones. Uh, at least frequent, most frequent opponents will. Maybe not all of them, but most will. And we take advantage of that uh, by using trips formations. Uh, and as you see against the cover two, you see how that corner route uh, really isn't a good look. And so that's even better of an example is against cover two. We don't want to rely on corner routes this year, uh, especially to beat zone coverage. And so that's why I like to rely on little short in routes and dig routes uh, that do a fairly decent job of beating man coverage or underneath coverage. Um, another thing you might consider doing against a cover two is, is potentially running Eifert on a curl route just to kind of pull the zones out of the way so that Hawkins can come underneath and fill in. Uh, but as you see, this is uh, our techniques for beating zone defense. Uh, what is your favorite zone beater in the game? Leave your posts in the comments below. And also, guys, if you have any questions, uh, problems, comments, or suggestions related to this Madden 25 tip, uh, please let me know in the description. And also, guys, if you have any questions, be sure to uh, hit me up on Twitter, at MaddenTips365, and uh, we're going to be taking your questions all week and giving them back to you uh, on our Monday, Mailbag Monday show. 
So uh, thank you so much for your time today, and I hope that this video is beneficial. If it was beneficial, please maybe consider to retweet this video or also subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've already done uh, the subscription. You may consider liking this video to show your support. Thank you for your time today, and we hope this video uh, once again was beneficial to you. And be sure to check out all the other Madden 25 content we have coming soon. Thanks, guys.